Hello, this is Kevin with LSMTAP presenting a short introduction to creating a website with Weebly. So to start off with, you'll create a new site. After adding a new site, you can look at one of the mini themes and pick one you like. And below, you can see there's some colors which you can choose between. So you will be asked to choose a domain. You can plug in one that you've already chosen or just close it and come back to it later. Let's go to pages and add a standard page and a blog for some news. If you go back to the main page, you can see they've shown up in order at the top of the screen. Just about any text you see, you can click on and modify just by selecting and typing. And then over in the upper right hand corner, you can see there's some social media links can put in whichever one's appropriate and remove them if not needed. You can easily upload a background image, just drag one in, it'll automatically upload and resize it for you. And if it needs to be cropped, it'll make it easy for you to do that. When you save, you get to choose to save it to either all of your pages, or just this page, or just a selection of pages. In this case, I'm doing all the pages. Here you can do some basic formatting and add some links. You can either add links to a normal URL or a standard page on your website. The advantage of doing a standard page is if you change the name or where it's located, it'll automatically track that, whereas if it was a URL, you would have had to update it yourself. Okay, we can just rename some pages here to make it a little bit clearer. And then choose between different header types. There's big ones, small ones, no headers, and then the landing page. It's the same as before, let's replace the default header with one of our own. Edit, drop in our image, move it around to crop it, and it's good to go. So on the left, there's the dock. It has any of the elements we'd like to add to our page. So here, let's add some text, drop it in, and put in whatever we want to say. And then we can add, say, a video underneath. You'll notice the bar is where it's going to go. Click on the video, drop in the URL, and it'll automatically update. Let's add a little bit more text underneath it. We're going to have a little blurb after the video. And then next to it, let's put in a survey. So you'll notice that the blue bar moves around. Since we've moved it to the right of the text, it'll go alongside, evenly splitting the available space. And then over on the survey, we can go in, drop fields, change fields, add fields, whatever we'd like to do. If they want contact information, you just choose one of the default ones. They work great. And then just go in, change email address, telephone number, maybe normal address. And you can adjust the fields if you'd like to do that too. Go in, make sure that it's pointed at the correct email address, and you're good to go. Here, let's drop an image next to some text. Scale the image over, the text will stretch out. And we can pretend to have a portrait plus a short information, short field of information for a bio. Put a divider down, do the same thing. Image, text, resize, and we have our fake bio. So going back to the main page, let's drop in some text and a yeah, survey. Yeah. And then add a blog. Let's change the header image again. Since it's got a larger one, that's different. And then we can adjust the author information to whatever we'd like. Archives will update as we do things. Click Add New Post. Then we can change the title and construct the post just like we'd construct one of the pages by dropping in elements. So over in the design tab, we can change some of the base colors. Let's go to the main page. Here you can see we change the colors and it'll change the text box and some of the other colors. If we'd like, we can try different themes rather than the one we have. Here, let's try this one. And as you can see, it's switched over to the default images, but the formatting of the text is all the same and the content is still here. Let's switch over to some of the different tabs. Still has 
all of our information. However, let's stick with what we had, so we'll just cancel back. Okay, you can change the background rather than just having a plain gray background. We can either use one of their images or drop in one of our own. And here we have a nice apple tree. You can also change the fonts. Here, as you hover over each of the uh, sections, you'll highlight on the page what it's going to edit so it's very clear what you're doing. You can select some of the different fonts. There's plenty to choose from. You probably shouldn't use most of them in most websites. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. And thank you. This has been Ket Ng with LSNTAP, walking you through your first website.